fungi are everywhere, from the top of the tallest trees to the forest floor and everywhere in between. We're all host to fungi habitats too. Fungi are all over our skin, up our noses and in our tummy. Some of them make us sick, but many of them help us thrive. There are a group of fungi that make themselves known at around this time of year. It's early winter and they're ready to make their grand entrance. Native bushlands like this one are a great spot to find them. We're in Stringybark Forest now, but they're also out in the grasslands and in the mallee. There are two main groups of fungi in the bushland based on how they get their food. One of the main groups are the decomposers, and these are the ones that live in the fallen logs and the leaf litter. They break down the dead plants and animals and enable nutrients to be recycled back into the ecosystem. Another major group of fungi in the bushland are the helpers. And these fungi form partnerships with live plants and they make connections with their roots, spreading out into the soil and reaching areas that the plant roots couldn't reach alone. This is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both the plants and fungi. Recently, scientists have discovered there is more than transport of nutrients going on. They also talk. Fungi can become the messengers for the plant world above. If a plant is being eaten by an animal or an insect, it can send messages out to its neighbours, and the surrounding plants react by releasing chemicals which make their leaves turn bitter and put off the approaching herbivore. Sometimes, if a plant is sick and needs more nutrients, the surrounding plants will use the same network to send nutrients to the plant and help it get through. Fungi are like the internet for plants. If you want to learn more about the large fungi we see in winter, the first step is to get to know their shapes. The main purpose of these weird and wonderful organisms is to spread their tiny spores. The spores are like the seeds of a plant and they are spread into the world by these colourful and sometimes gloopy shapes. A common shape that we're all familiar with are the mushrooms. They come up on a stem with a cap on the top. Underneath there'll be gills or spongy material which is where the spores are waiting for the wind to blow them away. Another shape is the earth stars which have a round sack full of spores. When it rains the drops land on the sack and puff the spores out. Some of our fungi look like coral and some of them look like jelly. Some fungi don't even bother coming out of the ground. These ones are called truffles and their way of getting their spores around is to release a smell that attracts animals such as bandicoots to dig them up and eat them and this transports the spores around as well. Without fungi, our earth would not look the way it does. Plants wouldn't grow tall, and logs wouldn't rot away. We would have trouble digesting our food and fighting off disease. We have a lot to be thankful for to the kingdom of fungi.